reverses. Let's go. Love it. Hate it. Love it. Hate it. Uh, Ryan? This feels weird. Hit the button. And if there are, am I sitting in another universe? Am I sitting in another universe? Am I sitting in another universe? Am I sitting in another universe contemplating parallel universes? Hmm. Will I ever be done doing honeydews around the house for Kate? It's a so night, I gotta go! And can J.J. Abrams really fix the narrative that's been laid out by The Last Jedi? We took down a dreadnought at what cost? You start an attack, you follow it through. There are things that you cannot solve by blowing up. Permission to jump in the next wing and blow something up? Permission granted. I mean, honestly. I wanted to know who Supreme Leader Snoke really was. And they cut him right in half. Without any answers. <laughs> Everybody do the flop! How do I keep my adult tortoises from drowning in my aquascape ecosystem ponds? You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask him. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kenan here and I am hanging out by my Aquascape uh, ecosystem pond. Today's question, whoa, I just got up too fast. Give me a second. Oh, that felt good. Okay, so today's question comes from a gentleman who is on our Patreon, one of our supporters. And I'm gonna give you his name right now as I scroll through to find it. Okay, so just hang tight, everybody. Uh, his name is Max Van Germit, and he has a quick question about my Aquascape ecosystem ponds, meaning the ones that are out front. He asks me, are I not afraid that my tortoises will walk into the pond? And if they go into the deep area, will they drown? Because I have tortoises out here. Well, right now the tortoises aren't back in, but I thought I'd show you guys the ponds and talk to you a little bit about the design. Now, with baby tortoises, I'm afraid of them flipping over all the time because they're basically brand new to earth, okay? So those tortoises really are like toddlers, I always tell people. So I try to keep them in enclosures that are way tortoise-proof, way safe. But as adults, like my adult elongated tortoises, we're talking about a tortoise species that clambers over rocks, that climbs, and that actually moves about in forested areas with streams like this. So if you notice, right down here, we've got this log, water is pooled up, right? So there's water here that they can easily drink from. And believe it or not, the adult tortoises are very smart. Um, they won't enter water unless they know they have a safe way out. Um, now, with some people who have pools, you gotta think about a pool. A pool is a death trap for a tortoise or an aquatic turtle if the turtle can't get out. Eventually, they'll get tired and drown as well. But if you notice, the Aquascape Ecosystem Ponds, they are a naturalistic environment. So there's plenty of shallow water, easy ledges for them to walk out on. Say, for example, a tortoise got stuck in here, they could easily climb out any one of these rocks, okay? They can rest on this. Uh, most of them are smart enough to not go near these deep edges. Now, land tortoises have depth perception. They're able to tell the distance between things. They're able to tell if there's a sheer cliff. They're very, very careful as adults. So the tortoises are gonna walk around and find the easy access areas. That's what I've noticed in the original pond. Here's another area where they could easily climb in, soak, get a drink. What I noticed over here on the original ecosystem pond that Aquascape made for me last year is the elongated tortoises made use of certain areas. They would walk down here, 
They could walk over and they will drink or soak or walk across this area right here. They'll actually walk across very safely and not have any issues at all. They'll use all these waterfalls as a means to get a drink. The other area that I noticed them using is this kind of pebbly beach area. They would come over here and they would drink. I have not seen any tortoises in the actual ecosystem pond. But again, if they did fall in, then they could easily walk out. I'm not really worried about them flipping over. Um, like I said, they're fairly smart. Now let's walk over to an area where I've actually seen my elongated tortoises enter the water on purpose to get some of the food that I throw out for the aquatic turtles. I've made videos on my Instagram about this. Uh, we haven't done one on YouTube, but let's go see the elongated tortoises that I've been babysitting for a buddy of mine who live over in the Asian turtle area. We're still working on the ecosystem pond out here, the rec pond. But uh, right now, here's the Asian turtle pond. Okay, so we're walking over to that right now. And I'll just show you, here are some elongated tortoises right here. There's one just kind of hanging out and you can see that there's an easy access. They can walk back and forth wherever they've got to go. Uh, many of them use the banks. They'll come down and get a drink, but they've actually taken to the water and I've seen them swim around and grab and actually they, it's like, it's almost like they think they're a uh, red-eared slider or something. They'll go in the water and they're actually eating some of the aquatic turtle diet. So it's kind of funny. Now these turtles will eat earthworms and stuff or tortoises rather will eat earthworms and so on. Here's some more of them. They're just kind of basking and hanging out here in this lovely South Florida sun we're having. Some are still burrowed down because last night it was pretty cool. So they'll burrow into these tufts, okay? But when the sun comes up, they're pretty happy and they just kind of bask. But over here, no issues. I've not had any of them uh, flip over. Um, it's really something you wanna make sure though, that when you design these ponds, which is what we're doing here with uh, Aquascape, um, you know, they don't have sheer walls. The whole thing isn't just a sheer wall. There's a lot of different points where the animals can get themselves out of trouble if they find themselves in the water. Tortoises won't necessarily sink immediately. Uh, they instead will bob around and float and they can somewhat swim. I wouldn't call it great swimming, but they can get themselves over to the sides and they can crawl on out. Another beautiful elongated tortoise. Look at that guy right there. Oh, what a gorgeous head they have. I love this species. Very hardy, don't get very large. Uh, just a really marvelous species of tortoise. I love having them here. Uh, they do so well in these humid conditions that we have. And they do like to live near water source. So my recommendation would be whatever pond you design, uh, make sure that it's got a lot of little access points, make sure it's got little beaches that the tortoises can get down and make use of that habitat. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create habitat for the animals to use and to be, you know, as natural as they can be uh, so that you get a better, healthy, and more uh, enriched animal. So we're gonna walk right back up to Sophia's pond right now, and I'll finish it off by just showing you a few more things. Uh, once we get the fence totally straightened out and I add that one more stream I'm gonna add on the other side, uh, I'll be introducing tortoises back into this habitat as well as the Chinese box turtles. Now, obviously this area, it's very sheer, um, but the tortoises are smart enough to know, you know, and of course, when I put them out here, I'm gonna be watching them. I'm gonna be seeing how they maneuver this new habitat. If there's a problem, I'll adjust it because we don't want anything to happen while I'm not home. Uh, that is a risk when keeping animals in uh, natural kind of enclosures and outdoor enclosures. We gotta remember that nature itself is harsh and sometimes uh, turtles and tortoises find themselves in predicaments in nature as well. In fact, I was canoeing once on the Loxahatchee River here in Jupiter and there was a uh, red-bellied cooter who got herself wedged upside down between uh, some cypress roots. So I was able to happen along on my canoe and I helped her out. But every once in a while, things do happen in nature too. Uh, but anyhow, I hope that answers your question. 
And thank you so much for your Patreon support. And if anyone else wants to have a question answered right here on the channel, go on over to patreon.com slash campcannon and become a Patreon supporter. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram at Camp Cannon. You guys can also check out the Camp Cannon Army channel where we have more supplemental videos going up daily. Lots of fun stuff happening over there. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe right here uh, on this video and this channel. So thanks everybody for joining me today. I hope you had a good time walking around the yard and learning a little bit about tortoise habitats and how you can make their watering holes a more exciting place for them to get a cool drink from. All right, everyone, thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Who was raised parents? It's ridiculous. How could they do that to us?